Hello everyone, my name is Trevor, and welcome to another episode of Peer Runners. In today's episode, we're going to bring you five fantastic tips on Galveston Island. We're doing like five tips for adults and five tips for like, you know, families with children. And so like, I guess technically that's, wait, I got this. 10, 10 tips. Gotcha. <laughs> Whether you're an adult looking for a relaxing getaway before your cruise, or you've got kids in tow, we've got you covered with this wide range of activities you can do on Galveston Island. But before we get into the tips, let's do a quick check and see who's ready for some island fun. Hold up your hand if you are excited to go on a carnival cruise. Now, if you take that hand, put on your mouse, and go on over, give us a little thumbs up and then subscribe. That's a great way to keep track of what we're doing and you know, stay up on top of the tips and tricks. And as always, if you have any questions, suggestions or anything for future videos, don't hesitate to let us know in the comments down below. All right, but let's get started for the first tips for adults. Number one, a visit to the 61st Street Fishing Pier and Bar. Now, this is a popular destination for both fishing and relaxation. So you can kind of see this as kind of a hybrid tip. You could bring your kids to go, you know, fishing all the time. And you can purchase a day pass uh, to do that fishing. You can rent the equipment. You don't have to bring anything. It's a really cool setup. They also have a rooftop bar that has a great selection of drinks and snacks where you can sit back and watch the sunset over the Gulf Coast. I'm telling you, it's a thousand percent worth it. It's a lot of fun. Number two, a Galveston Island ghost tour. If you're interested in the paranormal, you won't want to miss a ghost tour on Galveston Island. You'll hear creepy tales of hauntings and supernatural occurrences as you walk through the historic streets of the island. This is a unique and memorable activity that's sure to be a hit with the adult travelers. Number three, a visit to Galveston's historic Strand District. Now the Strand District, it's a must see destination for anyone visiting Galveston. This is a historic area. It's home to a variety of shops, restaurants, and entertainment venues. It's a great place to spend a lot of leisurely time, like a good, nice afternoon. You'll find everything from antique stores to art galleries to live music, and there's something for everyone. Number four, well, if you're a golfer, this one is a great tip for you. There are a lot of top rated golf courses in Galveston. If you're a golf enthusiast, you definitely want to take advantage of the island's excellent golf courses. Galveston has several top rated courses for you to choose from. So be sure to find the one that suits your skill level and interests. Pack your clubs and hit the links for a fun and challenging round of golf. And number five, take a trip, just a day trip. If you've got the time, take a trip over to the Bolivar Peninsula. Now, I may be, I, I may have just butchered how you pronounce that, but <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> now, this is just a short ferry ride from Galveston. It's a great destination for a day trip. You'll find some of the best beaches here, and you're also going to find a variety of wildlife, including birds, maybe some dolphins. This is a great place to go and relax. You can go there, enjoy the natural beauty of the Gulf Coast. It's highly recommended. And don't forget, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more cruising content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Your support helps us keep the Peer Runners channel going and brings us one step closer to our goal of like a thousand subscribers. Like we're we got like 730 right now. So the more likes we get, the more we get to that goal. And if you can't get enough Carnival content, be sure to check out our podcast, Carnival Cruising Podcast Away. It's available on all major platforms. It's packed with even more tips, tricks, and everything else. It's a podcast. Go to Spotify. It's a lot of fun. Please take a look. Link's down below. But for now, before you go 
jump over there to the podcast. Let's take a look at five more tips, but this time let me be with families with kids. Number one, a visit to Pleasure Pier. If you're traveling with kids, a trip to Pleasure Pier is a must. This is a theme park that has a wide range of rides, games, high-tech thrill stuff going on. There's something for everyone at Pleasure Pier. There's lots of food there too. And when you're hungry, you got lots to choose from, including classic carnival fare like cotton candy and funnel cakes. And also like a little bonus tip, this is where Bubba Gumps is located. So you could like knock out Bubba Gumps and have a good time with the kiddos all in one shake. Number two, a trip to Moody Gardens Aquarium, Rainforest and Butterfly Exhibit. Moody Gardens is a top destination for families with kids and it's easy to see why. The Aquarium, Rainforest, Butterfly Exhibit, they're all must-see attractions and they're sure to be a hit with your kids of all ages. You'll see a wide variety of marine life at the Aquarium, including sharks, rays, and tropical fish. The Rainforest is home to a variety of exotic plants and animals. And the butterfly exhibit is a beautiful and peaceful place to relax and take some sights and sounds of nature. Having actually recently been to a butterfly like place, I mean, it's actually pretty cool. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Number three, a visit to Schlitterbahn Water Park. Now, if you're visiting Galveston during these warmer months, a trip to Schlitterbahn Water Park is a must. This water park has a wide range of water rides and attractions, including slides, tubes, pools. There's something for kids of all ages here. We're talking about little ones and big O teens. So everyone is sure to have a blast. Don't forget to bring your swimsuit and your sunscreen. Number four, a tour of the Galveston Railroad Museum. Now, the Galveston Railroad Museum is a great place to visit with kids who love trains. You'll see a variety of vintage trains up close, including a steam locomotive, diesel locomotives, and passenger cars. The museum also has a variety of interactive exhibits and hands-on activities so kids can learn about the history of rail transportation in a fun and engaging way. And our number five tip is a trip to the Galveston Children's Museum. Now, the Galveston Children's Museum is a must-see destination for families with kids. This museum has a wide range of exhibits and activities that are just designed to educate and entertain kids of all ages. You'll find everything from a pretend grocery store to a construction zone with a water play area. So there's something for, you know, everyone. The Galveston Children's Museum is a great place to spend a rainy day or beat the heat, and it's sure to be a hit. Anyways, guys, those are my five, you know, kind of, well, really 10 tips of things to do in Galveston if you're an adult or if you've got kiddos. So when you're there to go on a cruise, hey, there's plenty of other things to do. Anyways, I'll see you all next time. Just know that you are unique, you are special, and you are loved. See ya.